this particular skill is the thigh compression ramp. So what we're gonna do is we've got an athlete who has an injured thigh, either a quadricep or a hamstring injury. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna apply just some compression in case there's any swelling. Uh, common injuries are hamstring strains, uh, thigh contusions, uh, where this is a great wrap for being able to uh, apply compression. Not only does it feel more comfortable for the athlete because everything is nice and tight and secure, but will help push any swelling up and out of the injured area as possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is put them in a uh, comfortable position. So I've got him standing here. He's going to uh, give us access to the area by just lifting up uh, his short leg. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're, if we assume the injury is right here, we just wanna make sure that we cover that area again uh, anytime that we do a compressive wrap, we want to go distal to proximal. So we're going to start down at the knee, just slightly above it, and then wrap the um, uh, wrap going proximally. The particular wrap that I'm going to use for this one is a double length six inch wrap. Uh, it's six inches wide and about 10 yards long. Uh, so it's a good size uh, for being able to do this one. Uh, if we had a uh, smaller athlete with smaller thighs, we might choose a six inch single length wrap. Uh, but for typical male athletes, a double length works well. So again, we're always gonna start distally. A technique that we're gonna do with this particular wrap, because generally the wrap can slide down, is we're gonna do a dog ear technique. So we're just gonna take our uh, uh, top piece of our wrap and we're just gonna flip that over. And as we come around, we're going to secure that dog ear right down into place. And what that's gonna do is make sure that the ends of the wrap doesn't kind of slide and fall down. So as I continue to wrap, I'm just gonna go around the thigh, encircling the entire injured area, moving slightly up every single time that I go around until the wrap is fully completed. When I get to the top, I wanna to secure this, uh, so make sure that it doesn't kind of slide or fall down. So depending on what he's gonna do, if he's gonna go out and actually play, um, what I might do is I might take elastic wrap and encircle this all the way around. That way when he runs around, his thigh can expand and that doesn't create too much problems. But if he's just going um, home because it was an injured um, area, I'm gonna take my tape and just use a couple pieces to actually just secure this down. Now with this particular time, the wrap kind of ended mid-thigh, which is not really an ideal area just because his legs are gonna rub. So one of the things that I wanna make sure that I do is come all the way around and make sure that the tape is nice and secure. You never wanna circle all the way around the particular thigh because that will, comp that will create kind of a tourniquet and that will prevent any type of swelling from kind of moving up and out. So one of the things I can do is I can just take this piece, nice and loosely attach it to the other one if I didn't want these ends to kind of fall off and come out. So once that's secured, make sure that his thigh can fully expand. Now that he's done, he can apply his shorts directly over the wrap. Because it's a compressive wrap, I wanna check circulation, make sure he's got good feeling in his toes and good circulation going to there. Make sure that the athlete is comfortable and he can walk around and then we're done.